We're talking about division of rational numbers in this unit. This is Algebra 1, number 2.6c. We're talking about reciprocals. Pairs of numbers whose product is 1 are reciprocals, or the multiplicative inverses of each other. If we have 1 third, its reciprocal would be 3 over 1, because when we multiply these to each other, we get 3 over 3, and that equals 1. So 3 over 1 is the reciprocal of 1 third. 1 third and 3 over 1 are reciprocals. They're multiplicative inverses of each other. And because we can write the number 3 as a 3 over 1, that makes 3 a multiplicative inverse or reciprocal of 1 third. See? Just remember, 0 has no multiplicative inverse. It's got no reciprocal, all right? Because we can't divide by 0. So here's the formal property. The property of multiplicative inverses are, for each non-zero rational number a, there's one and only one rational number, 1 over a, such that a times 1 over a is going to equal 1. Because remember, we can write this over a 1, right? And then we would get 1a over 1a. And the numerator and denominator are the same, so it equals 1. When we have a negative number, its reciprocal is also negative. So if we have a negative 1 fourth, its reciprocal is going to be negative 4 over 1. We flip the numerator and denominator. When we have a positive number, its reciprocal is also positive. So they keep their own sign. We don't change signs or anything. 1 fourth would be 4 over 1. Now, what if we had 5 over 0? Well, we can't divide 5 by 0, can we? can't divide by 0. There's no reciprocal, so there's no multiplicative inverse. Remember, 0 has no multiplicative inverse. Same with if the numerator was 0. Nope, can't be done. But what if we had a 1? We can write 1 as 1 over 1, can't we? And then we multiply straight across. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. We got 1 over 1. That's a 1. So the reciprocal of 1 is 1. What about negative 1? Well, remember the negative sign. So even if we wrote it over the 1, the reciprocal of negative 1 is negative 1. When we multiply them, the negative and the negative makes a positive, so we get a 1 over a 1, and that's 1. So just write the number as a fraction and swap the numerator and denominator. And if it's already a fraction, just swap the numerator and denominator. But remember, a negative times a negative equals a positive. So if we've got two negatives, it's going to equal a positive, okay? So if it says find the reciprocal, and we've got 5 eighths, all we have to do is swap the numerator and denominator, and we've got 8 fifths. When we multiply them, we get 40 over 40. That equals 1. Same numerator and denominator. If we have 4 eighths, don't think you need to simplify this. The reciprocal of this would be 8 over 4. We just take it as it is. We multiply them straight across, and we get 32 over 32. Same numerator and denominator. It equals 1. If we have a negative 7, you can just write it over 1, can't you? And that's going to equal negative 7. Negative 7 over 1 is the same thing. Multiply straight across, and you have negative 7 times negative 1. It's going to give you a positive 7. And 1 times 7 is 7. You have 7 over 7. It's a 1. If we have 25, we can write it over 1. And 25 times 1 is 25. And 1 times 25 is 25. That equals 1. What if you have 0.9? Well, remember, this is the tenths place, so we can re rewrite it as a fraction, as 9 tenths, flip it around to 10 over 9. When we multiply straight across, 90 over 90 equals 1, so 10 ninths is the reciprocal of 9 tenths. What if we got a negative decimal? Same thing. We do the same thing we did with the positive decimal. This is in the tenths place, that's the, the hundredths place, so this is 0.25 is 25 one-hundredths, we have negative 25 one-hundredths as a fraction. Its reciprocal is just flipped around, negative 100 over 25. If we multiply them straight across, we get 2500 over 2500, that equals 1. And what if we have variables? Well, you flip the variables around, now the y's on top and the x's on the bottom. We have x, o x times y over x times y, see? Because we put them in alphabetical order. So this over this is going to equal 1 because it doesn't matter what these numbers are that the variables stand for. It's going to be the same numbers with the same numerator and denominator, so it's going to equal 1. And if we've got a variable on the top and a 10 for a denominator or another number for a denominator, we just flip it around and put the variable on the bottom, and it's going to be 10x over 10x or whatever the variable and the number is over the variable and the number. It's still going to equal 1.
Now, if you are still confused, see this video's description for links to more about reciprocals and the fractions being uh, over one like that, if you're confused, okay? So I'll have some links in the video, this, this video's description. All right, the next thing we're going to talk about in 2.6D is dividing with reciprocals, okay? I hope you're okay. I hope you're doing well. I'll see you next video. Bye.